Hello guys, welcome back again to our Laravel series. Today, we're gonna learn how to connect to an existing database because what if we have an old app that is still running but you want to migrate it to Laravel and still use its existing database. So we can still do that in Laravel. So just follow at, until the end of this video. So let's get started. So, so I have my app here open in VS Code. And let's go ahead on the database that we want to connect. So let's open up our MySQL manager. So for example, this is the old database that we want to connect. So let's open this one. And this, these are the tables. So let's open the task table. So I have here a predefined records. So we want to connect to this table. So currently we are connecting to the Laravel tutorial table. As you can see here in our environment variable, the Laravel tutorial. So we want to connect to the my old data database. Okay, so what do you want to do is just replace this one, my old data. So replace this DB database variable with your preferred database. And next, what I'm going to do now is to create a model for our tables. So currently we have one table, the task table. So I will create a model for this one. So let's try. PHP artisan make model. So task. And let's go ahead and edit that one. So let's go to our uh, app models and task. And first we're gonna define which table is the task so protected table so this one this is the name of our table in our case task and protected fillable so these are the required fields that we need to fill up so we need the title and remarks title and remarks and laravel models or tables uses the timestamp values which has the created at and updated at fields like for example in our laravel tutorial so we created a migration before for example the fruits migration so as we create the migration so laravel auto created this one the created at and updated at so in our case, in our old database and table task, we don't have that created at and required at. So Laravel will complain later on why our task table don't have that one. So you can go ahead and create a created at and updated at, so which has a data type of timestamp. But if you don't want to, it's okay. You just need to uh you just need to define that our task tables don't have that one so public timestamps is equal to false so you just need to set this one to false and also what if our all database primary key is not id so what if we have here a task id or some unique id so Laravel will also complain that it cannot find the ID field in our table because by default Laravel will be looking on the column field ID as primary key. So if our primary key is different, so you just need to declare also that one protected primary key is equal to the column or the field name. So for example, our primary key is task ID. So you can do that, hit, just hit save. 
okay but now i'm just gonna get rid of this one because our primary key is just id so i think we're good to go so hit save and now let's test if we can retrieve those tests so i'm gonna go ahead to my controllers and i will create a new controller for the test php artisan make controller controller name task controller so created successfully and also i'm gonna create a view for that one so i'm gonna go ahead to the resources views so i will create a new folder called task and here i'm gonna create a new file all tasks or all that play the php i'm gonna create a html all tasks so let's try if let's just try this one Playing all tasks so let's go ahead and create a route for that one in our routes and web.php so I will create a route route get task I'm gonna refer the controller which is the task controller and refer to the function index from the task controller so let's go ahead and define this one so task controller so create the function public function index so i'm gonna return the view return view to the folder name which is the task and the view which is all and let's just test this in our browser open up your browser and type test so it's working so our view is working so let's retrieve the task tables from our old database okay so let's go ahead and there so i create a variable task which has a value of the model stats and now I'm gonna retrieve all the records so I'm gonna pass that one to our views so hit save and let's proceed to our views and let's retrieve that one so first I'm gonna check if we really retrieve the test I'm just gonna echo here the task take note that this task variables refers to the data here so as you can see the view first parameter is the view name the second parameters are the data so on the left side this is the variable task and on the right side it's the value okay let's just go ahead and refresh that one and refresh that one. So as you can see, it echoes the task as a JSON format. So we I think we're good to go. So let's display this one in our view. So let's display the task here in a UL and list or in unlisted order. So I'm gonna type UL list. So instead of manually typing the task here by copy pasting the list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a for each and loop the task using blade templating so for each task as for each task as task so let's end this for each so let's try so we have not access of the task that we have only title and sorry 
so let's go ahead and refresh this one so as you can see we have now the task created and I think uh, that's all for now so in this video we learned how to connect to an existing database and create a model for our tables and also define the keys or the required keys the primary keys and the table name to the model so thank you guys for watching so on the next video let's try to connect to multiple databases thank you guys for watching so if you learned something new today consider uh, subscribing to my channel to help my channel grow thank you guys have a good one